<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone, please, please, please take your seats. Uh, we've got another two acts to do. I mean, Jacob. <laughs> uh, no. This won't take long at all, but we have to say thank you. Um, ordinarily, we wouldn't say take your mobile phones up, but please feel free at this point to, to do so. You're allowed. We're back. <laughs> the West... <laughs> <laughs> The West End is now open and we have so many people to thank and thank you firstly for being a part of this historic evening. Actually Luke, before you go on, I actually think you've probably been the best audience we've had this year so far. <laughs> <laughs> had to get that in there. <laughs> no, but honestly, um, without all of you, this would never be possible. The fact that we have a socially distanced audience and you're coming and you're wanting to see this magical production just means so much to all of us because it's been, it's been the hardest 15 months you could imagine. And for all of you, but particularly for this industry, it's been very, very tough. That's it. The list goes on of who to thank, like I've said, but two people Two people yeah. have kept this thing alive throughout this 15 months. And without them, we wouldn't be here this evening. So we have to thank them. Bring them on stage, please. Michael McCabe and Neil Laidlaw. Thank you very much. Um, being, uh, being producers of a, of a show means that we don't often get seen in public, but, um, but they are, this is one of those nights where you need to step up. And um, in lieu of a celebration which would be traditional, which obviously uh, because of COVID restrictions, we can't do. Um, obviously, if we were football fans, we could maraud through the streets of the West End in our thousands um, with full government support, but we are denied the opportunity to even raise a glass of wine to these incredible people. So this is about just acknowledging what we've been through and, and to celebrate everyone involved. When Neil and I first negotiated the rights of this American-born show, we, we fought very hard to do the show in London. And that was for many different reasons, not least to work with many of our world-class friends and colleagues um, who are our stage managers, our production managers, and to support the UK economy, to support UK businesses, to build these sets, to make these costumes, and, and deliver this show. So when the, the horror of, of COVID struck and when we were shut down, it was incredibly hard for us to be denied any support from government whatsoever. And uh, we obviously applied for the uh, Culture Recovery Fund, which we received not one penny from. And uh, the insurance industry withdrew any cover for future COVID-related shutdowns. And now we remain at the mercy of the contact tracing system, which frankly means that we could be shut down tomorrow um, with no insurance. So it has been unimaginably hard, but we have always had the incredible support of the Nederlander organization who own this amazing building, and our extraordinary friends and colleagues in Los Angeles, Chris Hertzberger and, and Brian Hedden at DreamWorks. And we've, we've soldiered on um, through this time. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Zoom calls with our company, and uh, the first of which was actually a, a 
party to uh, listen to our cast album, which is available from the kiosks at the, uh, throughout the theatre. It's rather good. Um, but those Zoom calls became very, very important for us all. They were a sense to remain connected in that when we did shut, we did not know whether it would be a week uh, or months or, or unimaginably 15 months. But along the way, doing those calls and seeing everyone gave us the chance to just keep picking ourselves up, keep fighting on, and as we search for our own miracles, we realize that these people are our miracles. And uh, we were just overwhelmed by their determination to keep going. But uh, it, it is, uh, as one of the biggest employers in our industry, um, there's 154 of us on the payroll, um, it takes a lot of people to make a show. And uh, to tell you a little bit more about that is, is Neil. Thank you. Um, <laughs> one of the key things about making theatre is teamwork. And across the country in the West End, that is how we make shows. And it's large groups of people often getting together to create art, and to create money. And we've been hit so hard since uh, Monday, 16th of March. Um, but you've seen tonight two elements of teamwork. You've seen this magnificent cast, and you've heard this astonishing orchestra. But we wanted just to take a moment to remind you of how many other people are involved in making the Prince of Egypt happen. So we'd like now to introduce you briefly to the other company members. So in March, in March last year, all these people were flung into this uncertainty that was COVID. And for 15 months, we haven't really known what's going to be happening, but they all survived. And that's because theatre people are resilient. And that's because we are viable. And that's because we are extraordinary. I know I can speak for everyone in saying that all of us who've made our lives and careers in this industry are, are incredibly proud. The London theatre is, is world class, it is the envy of the world, it always has been, it will be again. Um, and on behalf of Neil and myself and, and DreamWorks, just want to say to every single person here how much we value you contribution you've made to this show and, and making this show and making this show every night. And uh, if we've learned one thing over 15 months, it's that all of this is worth nothing without audiences. And we can only say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being theatre goers. Um, and let's hope this industry will thrive again, despite everything that has been thrown at it. Um, I'm asked just to remind everyone that uh, to remain in your seats at the end of the show, um, so the ushers will come and get you as we continue our COVID safety protocols. Um, but it seems only fitting that we should end tonight 
with uh, one final rendition of the song that has frankly kept us all going through dark days. So the extraordinary musicians and cast of the Prince of Egypt, When You Believe. Yeah. 